what's up you guys what's up what's up divas what's up divas what's up everybody what's up i wasn't really planning on doing this type of video today um girl it's a new year i'm really trying to just get it together you know live my life be happy and just be not too transparent but transparent enough you know because some you just got to keep some things to yourself in life and that's not hiding stuff but a lot of your life needs to become private you know and with that being said you know I just want to live a happy year and I think really like to be honest with you I really think like 2023 is going to be like a decent year for me like I can't really say oh it's going to be the best year it's going to be like a really good year it's just going to be I feel for myself, it's just going to be a little less chaotic. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just going to be a little less chaotic. But anyway, you guys, I came on here because I am about to do a video, of course, for wigs. I just figured I'd talk to y'all. I was getting I was getting ready. And I also had, like, these products that I needed to, you know what I'm saying, promote. But, girl, listen, I like, I like free shit. Like, don't get me wrong. I love some free shit. Girl, I love some free shit. Who don't like free shit? But it, I just don't like any free shit. Like, I just don't like anything free. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't give me anything free and think that I'm supposed to like it, enjoy it, love it, whatever. Some free shit is like, girl, are you even charging people for this stuff? Like, you gonna charge people for this shit. Like, okay. You know Sheen, right? Sheen, Sheen. Everybody knows Sheen. Popular Sheen. Popular Sheen. People buy all of their little cheap clothes from there. Girl, I have been a victim of buying stuff from there too okay and when i tell y'all i said i wasn't gonna buy any more clothes i think i wasn't the only person that then said that in their lifespan shopping on sheen you know i haven't had like the best of the best experiences with them with sheen and i haven't had like the worst either okay i just realized like certain things are not for everybody like you can't buy everything everywhere you know what i'm saying like sizes differ with the quality of clothing quality of clothing differs with the sizes okay um just because it's cheap don't mean that it's supposed to be for you okay it just it's just stuff like that and like everything ain't for everybody sheen to me sheen to me is like a store like zafu rose gal you know all those stores that i used to promote heavily okay and i'd be on their website and you definitely would have to look at their their um their, their sizing chart to realize that we're extra large in american sizes Okay, on their website, you're wearing like a 3X, a 5X, you know, but if it comes and it fits properly and it look good, then hey, it is what it is. Their shipping time frame, their delivery time frame, like on those websites like Rose Gal and stuff like that, they were a little bit longer in length, okay? I'm not really sure if they stepped it up, you know, I don't get no free stuff from them no more and I damn sure ain't spending my coins on anything from websites like that. Now, that's how I felt about Sheen. That's how I felt about Sheen. Everybody talk about Sheen. Oh, Sheen this, Sheen that. And I'm like, girl, you're going to be waiting two months for your clothes to come. And by then, you ain't even going to be needing that outfit. And then I would even say to my daughters, you needed that outfit when? And you about to order it now from them? Girl, you best to go to the store. That's how I would feel about Sheen because, of course, they are one of those websites like a rose gal. Now, the clothing on Sheen, I will give them they props is a lot better than any type of rose gal or what have you. And I say this because I've had the experience of fucking with rose gal many, many times, along with Zappo. And when I tell you, I ain't never been in the sections where the girls that are smaller been shopping at. I, I, I just can't fit their stuff, okay? So that means the stuff that's in my size, the plus size, is slim pickings. It would take me days to pick out just the right amount of clothing that they said I could review. Because the stuff, there would be so many pages for one, but the pickings would be slim to none. But you know, I like free shit. I'm gonna find me something cute on those 400 pages. I'm gonna come out with like at least six outfits. Okay. Anyway. So y'all know she. And I'm not, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who's had a bad experience with them, didn't like what they got. My daughters love it. Okay. My daughters love it. My daughter Mumsy loves Sheen. My daughter name, they love Sheen. Me, I'm like on the fence with Sheen. I just noticed that buying pants from Sheen is not what I need to do. And I love their accessories, like, you know, the earrings and stuff like that. I bought these from Sheen for like a dollar and they have just yet to turn tarnish now normally when i get some beauty supply store earrings girl them, them things probably last me like two weeks worth of wearing and when i say two weeks worth i don't be wearing them every day but these i wore every day because i love me a nice little pair of hoops 
and I don't like them too big. Sometimes I do, depending on the mood that I'm in. But these have just to tarnish. But you know, they be having some cute little accessories like these right here. I love these earrings, okay? They have some really cute accessories. They have like a cute, you know, aesthetic to them. I think they really appeal more to the younger generation. But then I could be wrong. Like I said, I think that they are good for certain things, not for everything. Everything ain't for everybody. But you know what? At the end of the day, if you could buy something out of it and you could get something out of it, then girl, get it, okay? I have never done a clothing haul for Sheen. They ain't never asked me to do no clothing haul for them. And you know what I'm saying? I might feel some type of way about that, you know? Who, who am I to say? I mean, who am I to, who am I to ask and complain? It would be nice to be asked, because you know, like I said, I like Free Shade, but you know? Um, they have asked me on numerous occasions to do their makeup haul reviews, because they got their own little brand, She Glam. And I like it. I mean it's okay it's, you know what it's, it's like this i'll be on the fence about certain stuff and it's either a hit or miss it's either i like it or i don't like it okay it's either i hate it or i, I dread it it's, it's either the two so i probably did like about three four makeup review hauls for them whatever you want to call it their, their makeup foundation colors is a little bit off but i will say they do have cute little knockoffs okay when, girl they, they know they be knocking off all right listen let me tell y'all they know they be knocking off when i say they be knocking off trust me when i tell y'all they be knocking off. Like I said, they call She Glam. They got some cute, they got some nice blushes. They do. Now, one time I had reviewed this one by them. Now, we already know who packaging this look like. This look like some Fenty makeup packaging. Now, I ain't got a lot of Fenty, but I do have some things. And here we go. This is a Fenty and this is a She Glam. So, I mean, it's obvious to anybody that this is, you know, a knockoff, you know, of a Fenty brand. It's all good. It happens all the time. It is what it is. They do have some really nice makeup, even though they their packaging, this is She Glam, is a little bit, you know, replicated. Their foundation color situation is definitely different. I am a mocha, like a dark mocha color. In like the real world of American color choices, that color that I am for them would not work out for me in foundation at all. But it is what it is. This is their blush. This is their smoke rose blush by She Glam. By she Glam. It's a beautiful color. I like the color pair from it. So I can't say that everything is bad, especially for their makeup brand. You know, I do have quite a few of their blushes and things like that. Like I love a good blush. Girl, I love a good blush. Blush. This is one of their other blushes, you know, so I do have like, you know, here goes another one. So they have different packaging for, I think like the aesthetic packaging that they have, it's kind of like all over the place, but it might be different collections. Who am I to say? And who am I, shit, who am I to fucking say? She can tell me to go to hell and they can cancel me if they want it. I don't know. But it came out with some new She Glam makeup collections and they asked me to review it. Like I said, I love free shit. Okay. I go love free stuff. But, um, some free stuff I'm just not into. Girl, like I said, who am I to complain? You giving me some free shit. I could either say yes or no. I mean, take it or leave it, April. What is it? So I, when they showed me the photos of the makeup collection, is that you, Pinky? Hello? What are you doing? I'm not opening my, my balcony. I'm not about to open my balcony. We're not doing that. Yeah, I know. You don't have to get out of here. So like I was saying, when, what? So, like I was saying, when I was approached by via email to review their new makeup collection, it's a general letter and it's sent out to whoever they worked with in the past. Okay? They probably got like 50 damn videos on this new freaking makeup collection called Glitch that they got going on. Looked at the collection. I was like, oh, okay. All right. Maybe it's just a monitor situation. Like, you know, when you look at stuff on a computer monitors, everything is different. Like, you know, that color might not be really represented at the, the best, the best of the best on a computer monitor when you see it in real life you know you hold it in your hand it's totally different girl <sighs> and when i tell you that i was not really impressed at all and i wasn't the only one that wasn't impressed because i let my daughters unbox it for me and they was like what is this 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 should not have been made into no blush what is this who's wearing this i was like i don't know i give honest reviews and it is what it is you you know what the one thing that i don't understand with people why would you want to lie to somebody about something that you get in for a, a freebie a, to promote like why would you want to lie about a product like if you don't like something be honest and say you don't like that ish like straight up i'm being for real because if you don't like something you why would you want to continuously work with that company you're gonna get a whole bunch of things that you don't like 
especially if they specialize in certain things. Like I could see, okay, I could understand Shein. You got a, a blouse that you don't like for them, but you know they got other stuff. So I guess you couldn't really bash them. But I'll just be for real. Like if I if I don't like the shit, I don't like the shit. Especially if you just keep asking me to review your makeup collection, then I mean. I just don't understand why people just don't just be really, really honest with not only them others, but with themselves, you know? And I guess like, you know what, with that being said, I just feel like, you know, for myself, I'm just trying to be a better person all around. It ain't just because it's a new year, cause this shit ain't happened overnight. I didn't wake up last month or this, you know what I'm saying, 2022 and be like, oh, you know what, for my new year's resolution, I'm gonna try to be a bigger, better, a better person. Because that wasn't what it was. I've been was trying to do that. And I guess, you know, a lot of things in life just humble us or not even humble us. Cause I've never big headed and I never think I was above or better than, you know what I'm saying? I've always been humbled and I've always been grateful, appreciative and very supportive in any aspect. But you know, I did used to walk around with my attitude, like who don't have an attitude, but sometimes it just be like what they would call, you know, cause people be saying that about us, women of color, black girl attitude. Now I don't have a black girl attitude, never did. I just have an April attitude. And I don't know if there was a chip on my shoulder or whatever, but you know, in life, you just have to learn that certain things are not for you. You know, certain times you do need to change things up in your, in your life, not only for yourself, but for others around you. Okay, girl, let me tell y'all. It seems like sometimes I could have like a really, really amazing day. You know what I'm saying? Let me not cry because I don't want to cry. But sometimes I could just have like a really, really amazing day. Um, no bullshit, um, no nonsense. And I'm gonna show you all the products as I use them. You know, even though it's not a makeup tutorial, I'm pretty sure you might be interested in what I'm using, okay? But um, I just feel like, you know, there's a time in everybody's life where they gotta make a change. You know, it could be for the good. It, 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 change is good. I would say I would I would hope change is good. Sometimes some change ain't good, but you you know when you're trying to change up something, I would hope that you you was trying to change it up for the better. You know, not make your situation any worse than what it is already, but just try to change it up for the better. And you know, sometimes we don't realize that with our own lives, we just continuously go on with negativity, toxic toxic behavior. You know what I'm saying? Negativity or toxic behavior, and we just feel like that's okay. And I mean that's, that's all right if that's what you want in your life if you want drama in your life then that's okay like you know what i'm saying but for me i just feel like this i'm not not even that i'm getting too old but who ain't getting old you wake up every day you got the day older so let's not front and say oh well i ain't getting old because bitch you get old too okay every day you get old your ass gonna be antique -ish, vintage pretty soon okay i just feel like everybody need to change certain shit up in their life and for me i just i don't know i don't know if it's because i got older but for me, I, I don't know if this is what it is, but I just feel, I, April, feel like I just changed because my son has, you know, he's been passed away for the past three years. So a lot of things, situations do change a person's outlook on life and shit. And I just, you know, over the years, the past couple of years, you know, it has been hard for me. And like certain things I just was like really hard for me to accept. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I still do have my doubts and my bad, my bad days too. I do have doubts about certain people and I do have bad days about certain people. And sometimes I kick myself in the ass because I feel like, yo, you should have did this different. You know, that was stupid of you, you know? And then it's like, you know something? This was the reason why this happened. But, you know, I do have my bad days and I have felt like, you know, I used to be this type of person where I would just be like, not rowdy, but kind of like rowdy, rowdy, you know, like certain shit I wasn't allowing you to say to me. I wasn't going to allow you to get over on me. And, you know, I, that was just me. I just wasn't allowing it. And I kind of, I guess I would say I had like a short fuse for some, for certain things or for some people, you know, you never realize, but being sometimes with a person in a relationship, they can make you change. They could change you and you don't even realize that. Like they could really change you. And I'm not trying to bash nobody, but my past relationship with that person, you know, my ex, I really did feel like I cared and loved him so much. And granted, I'm not taking anything away from him because I did, you know what I'm saying? And I still do have love for him, but it's ridiculous how once you know that you have gotten a person out of your system, like completely, completely, because you do think that you've gotten them out of your system, at, but you just be fooled, mind, you be mind fucking yourself and mind fooling yourself. But you you think that you've gotten out of them system, be, out of your system because you haven't been with them in years or whatever. So, you know, you carry on with life. And what, what I mean is, you know, yeah, I have broke up with him. Like, 
years and years ago. And I was, you know, moved on, moved out here, moved on. But I thought he was out of my system, but he wasn't. Because of course I got back with him, right? But it's amazing. Sorry, guys. It's amazing when you realize that when you have really gotten someone out of your system, your, your, your attitudes sometimes can change. You can be like a better person. You can have more empathy for people, even for your own self. You can do shit differently, you know? And so I just feel like, you know, when my son passed away, I was hurt and I still am hurt. Fuck that, I'm, I'm very hurt. I think about him every single day. And there's not a day that goes by that I, I don't think about him. Like he's always on my mind. And a lot of times it's like, damn, I wish he was here. Of course, I'm going to wish this for the rest of my life. As long as I breathe, I'm going to wish that he was still here. But I've learned over the past few years how to deal with his loss. He's, he's not lost. He's still here, but you know what I'm saying? But, you know, since his passing, I just, you know, I found myself being different with people. I'm a little bit more understanding and a lot more patient. You know what I'm saying? I don't like jump off at the deep end and um, go off on people. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because of my old age or <laughs> it's because I just want to be a better person, a more nicer person. I don't know, guys, but you know, it's, change is always good for a motherfucker. Change is always good. So look, this is the She Glam, okay, glitch. Now, I don't really exfoliate my lips too much because, I mean, girl, they are already cute. <laughs> but anyway, this is the lip scrub and it's, it's a green packaging. Um, there's not a lot in the collection. I'm so this is their lip scrub. Now, be mindful, this is green. It's green, okay? It's green and I'm about to say, I wish I had my glasses to tell you what it's called. Okay, so this one is called, where is the name of it? 404 Lip Scrub. Y'all know 404, that computer error. That's what it's called. And that's all I'm seeing on this box. It doesn't smell like anything but oil, Vaseline. Honestly, this reminds me of taking some lip oil, putting some sugar and some food coloring in it and calling it a lip scrub. And if that's what it is, a lip scrub, there oh shoot look because i don't know what lip scrubs how you make them but i know that's part of it and okay so it leaves a bunch of little sugary residue as any lip scrub would be is it like amazing like I, i've had lip scrubs before and i will be honest and say the lip scrubs that i've had are a lot thicker more grainier this is a very loose lip scrub so if you don't want it too abrasive then girl this might work for you but um yeah it's 404 era okay i'm not really like a big fan of it like i said i'm really not like huge on the color green but i mean hey it's just a color you're not gonna see it on your lips but um, the consistency is a little bit thinner than most lip scrubs, but you know, it's on a cheaper size. So you're gonna get what you pay for. And that's just what it is, period, okay? That's just what it is. Yeah. So life has taken a toll on me. 2022 was like a really different year for me. I just hope like in the end, that everything worked out and so it has like girl my granddaughter is about to be one by the time y'all see this video she will be one yeah this is like my favorite foundation i love this becca cosmetics foundation it's crazy when you find like a foundation that really works because y'all i have oily skin so i just really don't like to wear a lot of makeup all the time because my skin is oily and who the hell want to get up every day and put on makeup like i mean i'm just saying some people don't mind but that's just not my thing i don't like putting makeup on every day Day. It's just too time consuming. And now back in the day, I'd do that shit on a daily and just go to Walmart. But I don't know. After a while, things get to be very repetitive. And it's like, girl, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do this. I think a lot of times for me, I would make my make sure that I look great and made myself up. It's because, you know, I had a man at the time. You know, it seems we do shit for our, the people that we want to impress. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm doing this for a wig video. So obviously I want to impress y'all when I get on the video and review the wig, right? obviously because girl if i got on here and look like i just rolled out of bed to try to do review a wig y'all be like what does this bitch think she's doing just saying but yeah i just don't really like to wear a lot of foundation but i do have oily skin and this becca cosmetics is like one of my favorites i got this from the cosmetic outlet company store in tanger and girl let me tell y'all because you know becca cosmetics is out of business and shit and that part sucked because I was like, damn, I finally found a foundation that I really like. And this girl, this lady gonna go out of business. Everything went out of business due to COVID. Now, I might look a little orange or yellowish on the screen, but trust me when I tell you, by the time this is over, I won't, you know. And it doesn't really look like that in real life. It's just the settings 
Or maybe it looks like that to me and I don't know, but either way, the color is a good match dead on. What isn't? You know, it's hard to find the person, the best dead, dead on match. But this one works really well for me as in color. And trust me when I tell you, I got about five bottles of these because they was $4 at the cosmetic company outlet. Girl, they was 75% off of a clearance price. So who can't beat that? Like, I'm just saying. Love the foundation. And girl, when they had them, I then they bought, bought them out. That's my problem, okay? I buy stuff. When I see something on sale or a good price, girl, I'm on it. I think like I try to buy it all up because I don't want to miss out if I really do like something. And that's what the foundation. So, you know, I think I'm going to be having the same foundation when I'm older, elderly. I'm going to be like 70 years old with two bottles left because I don't put on makeup every day. I just feel like this. Who am I impressing? I got to impress myself before I impress anybody, you know? Like, great. I, who, I would love to be in a relationship, but I'm not about to make myself up and beat my face every day just to go to the fries grocery store down the street. You got to either like me for who I am and how I really look naturally or don't like me at all because this here, what you're going to see, is not what you're going to get every day. And I just be real with myself. And I think that was the problem before and not even really the problem before, but, you know, everybody has flaws. Everybody got things that they just... Where does my goddamn baby wipe at that I just had? Everybody got issues. And when I say issues, I don't mean that in the worst way, but we all got something going on within ourselves that we just really don't like, okay? And I'm just saying, be real with yourselves. Be real with yourself. People come and go out your life. And some people, you know what I'm saying, they do things to be spiteful. Some people do things because they just don't know better. And some people, that's just them, okay? You know what I mean when I say that's just them? That's who they are as a person. You can't change nobody. That's just who they are. If they are alcoholic, they're going to stay an alcoholic. You can't change that shit. If they're a thief, they're going to stay a thief. You just got to learn to accept people. And I've accepted like a lot of things in my life with people. And sometimes you just got to walk away, you know what I'm saying? and be the bigger person and that's what I've been learning to do you know sometimes you just can't battle with everybody and, and, and fight with everybody because it's really not worth your time and effort you know and, and it's sad that I gotta say that but sometimes it'd be even your own family members like you know what I'm saying you gotta walk away you gotta walk away from them and just do things for you and it hurts but it'd be your own family bro I could go on and on and on about that but you know I just had like a really eventful 2022. I, my granddaughter, she's one now and things have changed so well for me and my family over this past year. And I'm so blessed. You know, I have such a strong faith in God, but I'm just so blessed, you know, because I have a support system here. I have a support system with you guys. So I feel so blessed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like me and my daughter's relationship is like amazing. Me and all my daughter's relationships are amazing. And I'm happy because she has her daughter back and everything is just, just great. And it took time and it took a toll. And there was some things that I felt like I wasn't going to be able to do. And I kind Accomplish that shit you know what I'm saying like I really did accomplish that shit it's probably about to rain outside but um I just know that but because of the year that I've had I know that God has gotten good things in certainty for me like straight up I feel it in my heart because we got to make the best of what we have like straight up like stop harboring over the things that we don't have and just make the best of what we do have I was using the Fenty um this is not the she glam this is real Fenty um um, concealer. I bought this a couple of months ago from, uh, what is that store? Sephora while I was in Kohl's because now they got Sephora inside of the Kohl's store. So I bought this, you know, I was testing it out and I really did like the payoff. Girl, I, I was kind of on the fence because I, I think this was like $40 or $30, something like that. I was like, I don't know. I got enough makeup. But for the most part, you know, I like it. I'm not like doing backflips over it, but it's a decent foundation. I mean, concealer. And, you know, I hear people raving about it all the time. So, so let me tell y'all, this is their She Glam Glitch Out Palette Duo. So it comes with two of these palettes and they're called Glitch Out. Um, the name of it is Glitch Out Palette Duo. That's that's the name of it. These little palettes are very small. Um... I don't know why they're calling them a palette because I guess because it's got four, but I think isn't that called a quad? But anyway, 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 the package is so it's it's very young teenagerish. So if you're a grown ass woman like me, this might not be for you. But the colors alone are really not for me. It comes with four colors, gray, black, silver, and like another type of silvery. So I'm not really sure how many makeup eye looks you're gonna get with this, but I will say the color payoff is very chalky. I've already like tried this swatchy swatch mess with my daughter so i'm gonna just swatch the colors in it i mean they're not bad but i have seen some that you gotta put a lot on to to get a good payoff um but um yeah i just feel like 2023 is going to be a decent year for me i don't feel like i'm going to go crazy i don't feel like everything is going to not work out shit happens on a daily so we can't expect it to be better roses every day but you know what i'm saying and i think like i'm my my mind frame is i don't i'm just not dealing with the foolishness the black one is called mainframe 
The second one underneath the black one is called algorithm. And that gray color is called hard drive. And that one on the bottom is called megabyte. So I'm not like a huge fan because you can see the color kind of like fading. And when I tell you I put a lot of black on my, my fingertip, very chalky. And I don't really like the color collection that they chose for this palette per se. Like, I just feel like this color could have been a whole lot better, these color choices. But, you know, who am I to say? And then the second one that they have is, um, you know, these colors are awful bright, girl. Like, ah, yeah, I don't see myself wearing none of these damn colors in real life, okay? Like, straight up, I don't. Let me just wipe, wash the back of my hand. So these are pinks, yellows, bright blues, and this green. And the pink and the blue are very, they're matte. Their matte is matte. Okay, they're so mad they look like they're gonna cough up dust. And the two on the side are kind of like a frosted. So the pink one is called Upload, the blue one is called RAM, the green one is called HTML, and the yellow one is called Circuit. We're gonna start off with this yellow one. And now already on my fingertip, it looks chalky. The pink one looks very pretty though. The pink one looks pretty. The blue one, you gotta put enough on a brush um, for these particular colors right here. I don't foresee myself doing any type of makeup look with these. Look, girl, I'm almost 50. I'm going to be 49 this June. I am not about to be walking out the house with no blue eyeshadow that looks like this, okay? So the colors, like, they, I, I, I don't know what you kind of call these colors. I guess they would be, like, fun colors. But straight up, um, not my thing. I'm not really a huge fan. I don't know why I said I would do this review because I just like free stuff. I think it's the whole point of getting shit in the mail that makes me get excited. I know I'm not the only person in the world that feels like that about getting stuff in the mail. So my honest opinion on these little palettes right here, they're cute. Um, I really feel like they're teenage first time... Of no, I was about to say it's the first time offender. No, uh, first time makeup person, user, but whatever. Uh, yeah, these colors I don't even think are great for anyone who's just starting out in the makeup collection. Because, girl, don't be wearing this. If you just starting out doing makeup, you might not be that great at it. And so I feel like, yeah, this blue is not going to be for you to want to try out. All right. Um, that's just my honest opinion. So I'm going to just use my own eyeshadow palette because I did buy some really nice ones during the Black Friday sale on Juvia's Place. And girl, let me tell y'all, um, that was my first time ever buying anything from Juvia's Place. Now, the eyeshadow stains, okay? Look at that. You see the green, the blue right here? You see that? It stains. So be aware. And the yellow kind of gives me like a jaundiced appearance. Be aware that your eyes, your eyes will remain blue, okay? So, yeah, like I was saying, I had got some makeup from Juvia's place during the, um, the Black Friday sale, okay? And I had never really bought anything from them because I just felt like, girl, I got enough makeup. I don't really give a damn who makes it, okay? I don't care who's raving about it. I don't care what the makeup gurus are saying about it. I don't care how many people are trending to go purchase it. I got enough makeup. And once you get have enough makeup in your collection, pinks start looking like the same. Like, they, when I say pinks, like, one brand's pink might look like another brand's pink. There ain't but so much you can do. Girl, like I said, I got enough makeup. And I hadn't been in the makeup store in so long that, you know, I just felt like when I did go there one time with my daughter, Nay, I was so overwhelmed, y'all. I was ready to leave out of there. I hadn't been in Ulta in like over two years, okay? You know, this COVID was going on and, you know, my son had passed away. So it was like, you know, oh, probably over two, over, over two years. But I just felt like, you know, this is not the place for me. And I was very overwhelmed. And I did want to buy something for myself. So when I did purchase something, it was this right here, which is their bronze palette. So that was the first thing that I purchased. So when I saw that they was having a sale, I think it was like 60% off on the website. And, you know, they take Clarina, which is like Afterpay. So good, please. I spent um, all the stuff that I got, I spent $100, $104. And I got mad shit. Like I bought stuff for my daughters for Christmas. And when I say they got stuff, they didn't, they, they got a a lot of stuff they got like five items each from juvia's place okay and mind you i have um three daughters but mumsy she didn't get anything from there because she doesn't do makeup so for nay and tati they got like some really nice stuff they got like five things each and i got one two i think one two three i think i got like six or seven things for myself so i got a lot of stuff for 104 dollars you know what i'm saying from juvia's place and i'm gonna just use what i got from them you know what i'm saying but um I mean, the palace is like $4. The eyeshadow palace was like $4. You can't beat that. I told y'all I like a good sale. I'm like, I'm like the price queen around here, okay? I try not to buy shit that I really don't need. So I'm going to just use what I got from them, okay? That's what I'm going to use. That's what I'm going to use. So I think I'm going to use this one right here, okay? Um, you, you, know, you know, I'm a very simple girl. 
and I don't really do too well with trying out new colors or not even doing too well but oh you know what I want to use this pink eyeshadow that I have by Juvia's Place I, I had this eyeshadow on in another video but I really do like it it's their um it's their pink the sweet pink I like this one a lot um yes I like this palette a lot look they give you like a nice size uh, eyeshadow too okay hold on all right so <clears throat> had to take a little smoke break okay now y'all already know I was smoking some weed, but I had to take a little smoke break. But anyway, so yeah, I love their palettes, but for this one I used this color right here at the bottom as my base, and then on top of it, I was gonna use this color, but then I was like, girl, that's a little bit too bright, so I used this one right here. I'm at a really good place in my life where I'm just trying to do better, and I just realized that some things ain't for everybody, all right? Listen, I have been single for over two years, and I'm fine with that, okay? I don't really need the aggravation. I've had people ask me, how could I be single? How do I like being single? Girl, I love it, I love it. I ain't got to try to impress somebody on a daily basis. This is gonna be bright, girl, okay? I just be myself. That's why I said, if you don't like me for who I am when you first see me, then I don't know what to tell you. That means that you're really not gonna like me at all. I do apologize about the lighting because it's really ain't supposed to be like you no know, tutorial or nothing like that, but I know I should've came through a little bit better. But, um, you know, so I love my life. I love being single. I'm pretty sure that sooner or later, one day I will find someone that's for me. Until then, you know, I do. And I continue to love myself and then just improve my life, you know, and improve myself. So other than that, you know, I have been doing much of, I think I feel like, you know what, I, I, I'm, I want to be a person that moves forward. But sometimes I feel like I'll be just going backwards. Like, but that being, like, with that, what I, what I mean by that is nothing bad or nothing like that. But, um... I guess it wouldn't be bad. I went back to my old hobby, you know, before doing YouTube. Okay, no, I guess it was during the time on YouTube. Yeah, it was the time I was on YouTube. So I guess I went back to just doing my old hobby. Like, you know, I went back to making jewelry again. I like doing stuff that makes me feel good, relaxes me. Trust me when I tell y'all, I don't want to be in front of the camera all the time. You know, I like doing videos, I do, but I don't want to sit in front of the, um, I don't want to sit in front of the computer all the time. I don't want to edit no videos all the time. But yeah, I went back to doing my old hobby, which was making my jewelry. If y'all remember, I used to make earrings back in the day, you know, the basketball wife hoop earrings. And I, then I started changing it up a little bit and doing different type of earrings that was kind of in resemblance to the basketball wife, but my own little spin on it. So I just, you know, I, find, I try to find things that will keep me busy besides sitting in front of the computer all the time. One of those things are making wigs. You know, I do like to make wigs by hand. So I do, I do that a lot too, but sometimes I got to switch it up. Now this ain't the best eye makeup look because this ain't a damn tutorial, but once I put my eyelashes on, it'll look better. I hope so anyway, like I said, I went back to making jewelry again. Um, and it wasn't like done intentionally, but it was, I was showing off my little um, collection because I had to fix one of my bracelets that I made like 13 years ago. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just go back to making jewelry. I like, I, look, I enjoy sitting down watching TV, but I don't really get to do that much. But when I do sit down and watch TV, I can't just sit there watching. I have to be doing something. It's either making a wig, editing a video, or creating some jewelry. So with making jewelry, I'm able to pay attention to, to the TV more, as well as making a wig. I, you know, I've been sitting a lot lately, and I've just been making jewelry, making bracelets, stackable charm bracelets, and I'm almost, I think I've made like, 25 sets already so it's time for me to take some pictures and then i had to fix my eye my eyeliner i am not the best with putting eyeliner on like seriously i'm not my eyes are so hooded and then each one of them is different girl i have to fight and i feel like this one always be coming out better than this one and then i'm like okay so once i put my eyelashes on it's gonna work out in my favorite girl look but now i can't find my other lashes i keep you know something you ever have a pair of lashes that become your favorite? It don't really matter the price. You just continuously buy them. For me, my favorite lashes are, they're, 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 th they're by three different companies, but they're the exact same eyelash, okay? The exact same eyelash. You can get them in the Kiss brand, okay? These are the, in the Kiss brand, these are the signature wispy effects. It's a clear band. You can get them in the Kiss brand. You can also get them in the <laughs> Shop Miss A brand, which is called Alexis. Okay, you can get either a single pair or you can get the whole pair like this, a whole tray like this. Same exact lashes. Or you could also get them in, and I don't have them anymore, but you could also get them in the um, the LA Colors brand from the Dollar Tree, okay? Um, but this um, this particular one is not, they're called Diva. They're called Diva for the Dollar Tree ones. So, 
You get them in multiple brands. They're all the exact same lashes, clear bands. I love them. Okay, so they're my everyday basic eyelashes. I wear them every day. You don't have to put on makeup with them. You don't have to put on eyeliner with them. People have stopped me and said, are those eyelash extensions on my eyelashes? Because they look really nice, really natural, and you can't see an eyelash band. Yes, that perfect. But when I do my videos, sometimes I like to stack them. And I also do have like this other pair that I do like a lot from Shop Mitch A, which is called Luella. But Luella comes looking like this and you probably like, oh, they don't really look great. You know, you gotta take the brush and switch them up. Once I brush them, they curl up so nice. Girl, these are the ones that I wear mostly every day, every day. So I had a tray, you know how you have a tray and um, they just get better over days and weeks. Like I could wear the same pair for like two weeks, okay? Cause they last just like that. Now mind you, it's seven days out of a week. I don't wear lashes seven days. I probably wear lashes like five days, six days. So I mean like, that's not really a big difference, but I'm just saying. So I just take them and stack them on top of each other. But I had a tray and I think I had like two pair on it that was like a good two to three weeks old. Girl, I don't know what I did with the tray, okay? I don't know what I did with the tray. I do not, I like, I like when the lashes look really nice and full, okay? But I, I don't like them when they are too full and big looking. I can't do them when they like that. Like at a time I did like that, but I think like, look, I be growing out of stuff. And after a while it's like, girl, no, just like how your eyebrows, you know what I'm saying? I grow out of like certain fads, trends or whatever. And like certain beauty trends, Um, just like with the eyebrows, thick wide eyebrows, like that shit. I go back and I look at my old videos, like girl, that was definitely a no for you. Why even say it earlier? I know I'm just rambling on. But like I was saying earlier, you know, I went and took back my old hobby. I had a nice collection of beads. Hope these look good, okay? Because the sunlight is hitting. Beads, crystals, all kind of stuff. So I decided, you know what, April, get you another hobby. Not another hobby, but find something else to do besides sitting in front of the computer. So I've been making bracelets, y'all. I've been making bracelets. Of course, I have bought new inventory. So I have purchased new inventory on three different occasions to add to my bead collection, to add to my charm collection. So I will be posting them up. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I wanted to make sure that I had enough of the items that I make. And like, when I tell you that I make these, everything is made by hand. Some of the charms are even made by hand, like the little crystal charms that you'll see dangling off the bracelets. Those are made by hand. Like I don't buy those, those are made by hand. All the designs are made by hand. Like none of these bracelets are store bought. These bracelets, these stackable bead bracelets are made by hands, okay? I sit there and I think about the pattern, what I want to do, how I want it to look. So these are made by hand, okay? These are made by hand. So this is this was time consuming, but I also did enjoy my time making them and also buying and purchasing my inventory. I'm telling you guys, I'm like a big kid. Like, you know how, like I said, you get stuff, right? You buy stuff online. And then when you purchase it, it's like, you can't wait for it to come. You, you're excited. You can't wait for it to get there. This is me. This is me. Okay, this is how I be feeling about stuff. So when I when I make my bead um, purchases and my charm purchases, I um I get really excited really really excited when i tell you i make charm like you know what i'm saying i have done the work and the legwork of finding the vendors people have a different concept of vendors like I, i've watched many videos and um <clears throat> must use this juvia's place setting powder the one that i got is called sahara okay so this is the i am magic setting powder this is the second time i think i used this i purchased it from the online sale okay but anyway so like i was saying um i noticed that people do have a different concept of what a vendor is Okay, I guess maybe I have a different concept because I have watched numerous videos on YouTube about, you know, finding a charm vendor, finding a wholesale vendor for charms. And people were saying, oh, you can find them on Instagram. True indeed, you can, you can. But the ones that they were talking about are just the girls, just the normal everyday girls that purchase their beads or their charms from someone overseas and then we sell them. That's not a vendor to me. That's a middleman. Okay. That's what I consider to be a middleman. So, you know, and your prices is not what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm trying to find the real deal. Okay. Where they custom made at their own factory and they have a wholesale company. So that's what I have been, you know, looking for and girl. That's what I have found. So, you know, I have made three different purchases for my, my, my hobby. And I guess you could say I'm ready to recreate my whole brand of smooches accessories. That's what my website used to be called, y'all remember. But um, yeah, so I've been doing that. I've been making bracelets and I will be having them up for sale soon. Girl, it's just an everyday thing. I like, enjoy doing what I'm doing, but I was saying, I, I try, I just try to be a better person, you know, with my life in general, you know, change is, is just great. Change is great for everybody, okay? So right now what I'm doing is I'm just going to use some of this Juvia's Place to contour, contour just a little bit. I, you know, I like just a little bit. I don't be wanting like too heavy of a makeup. You know, I be real like 
standoffish when it comes to like eyeshadow looks because I just don't be wanting to look like an uh, over made up doll. I just don't want to be looking too made up. Like I like makeup, but I don't like it to the point where it's so much on my face, but I do like makeup. So, you know, most of the time y'all see me, I have like the same kind of like makeup look. You know, it's very neutral, you know, I might have a little razzle dazzle going on every now and then. But for the most part, you know, life has gotten really good. Life has gotten better. When I say that, some people might think that, oh, God, I got, got rich or what have you. No, life has gotten better because it has gotten easier and things have progressed. And my lifestyle is different from last year. You know, I really did think that I wasn't going to be able to take on a new little, little life, a, new, a little baby. But I was able to do that. And I'm glad that there were so many people that had faith in me, which was you guys. Like, you know, I was so overwhelmed in the beginning. But after a while, it just comes like second nature, y'all. It just comes like second nature. And you're able to like, you know, get into that little baby mommy mode type thing. So I'm I'm, I'm happy that I was able to be part of the raising of my grandkids. I'm, I'm very like pleased with that. I got five grandkids. I never thought that I would have five grandkids. I got five kids of my own. Am I gonna have more grandkids? I wonder that sometimes in the future. You know, it would be nice because I love like the kids. I love them. I love them. They're amazing and they are part of me. So I try to instill like good values on them. You know, that's what I'm talking about being a better person. I don't know what happened to me. I'm not the same person that I was like last year, but that's okay. Like some shit ain't for everybody, like I be saying. Now y'all know I like I, I like to wear blush. I like a good highlight. Girl, we got <laughs> I love good blush. I just said that to y'all in the beginning. So this is their glitch out blush. It's called the Reboot Blush Palette, okay? The Reboot Blush Palette. Now, when I did first see this, I was like, girl, who is putting that on as blush? But you know what? To each is on. Everybody has their own way of looking. And just because I don't like something don't mean that you don't like it. So, but I don't know about that. This color is, is not really like a thing for me. This yellow, like more be like a highlight, but this yellow is definitely not giving me like lemon lime. It's giving me more like jaundice. And this pink reddish color up here, definitely no. And a white blush. Mm, that would be more or less a highlight. I, I think this is like a white. It's like a light blue when you look at it from afar. Because, girl, at 49, I'm going blind, damn near. So it's called, this light blue one is called BRB Loading. Okay. BRB Loading. Um, the pink one is called Unexpected Error. And that is the damn truth about this color. And the yellow is called Big Data Moves. Honey, you are going back in time with this eyeshadow, um, this, excuse me, this blush palette. I'm going to be honest and tell you the entire palette looks very chalky to me. This yellow eyeshadow, um, blush, I keep calling it eyeshadow, is a, definitely a no. And so is this whatever you want to call red one. When you rub the colors together because there's a white in the middle, it gives you like this kind of like Pepto-Bismol, I'm sick pink light. And this, I don't know, all chalky white, light blue is just not a hit for me. This whole palette is giving me, back in the day when we had the chalkboards and the erasers would just have all that dust that would fall on that silver plate underneath the chalkboard. That's what this is giving me, chalk room dust, okay? Chalk dust. <coughs> I guess so in my nostrils because it's very chalky and dusty. So I, I'm just gonna say a no to that blush palette right there. I wouldn't dare put this on my face, okay? No way, shape, or form. I mean, there are some videos on YouTube that I've seen that were using the eyeshadow palettes. I don't really know about the blush palette. You know, people like free shit. And sometimes free shit, they, will, they won't be true to the shit. They'll tell you a different than the truth. You know, it's opposite of the truth just to get more free shit. But girl, please, if you keep sending me stuff like that, I'm not gonna want it. I don't need any more junk. I got enough junk in my house as it is. It's not even junk in my house, but I have enough stuff in my house as it is. Like for me, nothing else, especially if I don't like it and it's unuseful, okay? Unuseful. Oh, and you know what? I can still use a She Glam blush because I have blushes by them, which I absolutely like a lot. Just like the fake Fenty. I'm calling it a fake Fenty. This one is a really nice blush. Um, it's called Smoked Rose. I don't know if they're still selling this, but we're gonna use it. And see, like I said, I don't really like it to be too much. And this color, I don't really use it too often because it's very like, ooh. On me. But I'm gonna also be putting on my pressed powder. Now, normally I put this on after my pressed powder, but I already knew this blush, you know, ahead of time is gonna get me some work. You know, I gotta be really like light-handed with the brush for this color because I'm not going for that very like hair, I'm hair blush look. Now you see what side looks like, oh my God, girl, what have you been using? Did somebody slap the shit out of you? Look, and then another side is like, okay, girl, you're trying to beat your face a little bit, a tad bit. That look, okay? 2023, I, I really do feel like it's gonna be an amazing one for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm not, I'm going to um, be too down and out about things, though I did want to change my lifestyle a little bit. I, I do wanna to go to school for real estate. I'm gonna just use some of this Estee Lauder, which I love the most. Um, I did wanna go back to school for 
Um, I do want to go to school for real estate because, you know, YouTube is not promised forever. And why would you want to make it that? Okay. Trust me when I tell you, I appreciate everything that I have gained and learned from YouTube. When I say gain, mean friendships, knowledge, okay, businesses, contacts, okay, and learn the same shit. All right. But this is not a forever thing. And I'm almost going to be 49. I'm going to be 49 in June. So with that being said, I got to find something that is, you know, a little bit more lucrative for me. Now, granted, there have been people, wow, the sun is like clouds are hitting. Um, there have been people in my, my plane of business who have really succeeded in YouTube. They have become super famous. They have been, become super rich or what have you. Some things ain't for everybody. Like I said, some things just ain't for everybody. And I take that like, you know, this, this as long as I'm able to pay my bills and be able to buy something to eat, Okay, and as long as um, I have money in my savings account, how's that one for you? Because I'm trying to find the right words to say to make it, you know, not so um, cliche. One of my favorite highlights that I have been using for months, and this is by the brand Pixie. Amazon guy. One of my favorite highlights by the brand Pixie. I think this is like something you get at Target. But my daughter Tati gave me this and I absolutely love this color. This is the Peach Dew. It is their glowy powder. I love it. Sometimes I use it for eyeshadow, but girl, listen, I will use it for whatever. But I love the look that it gives me. So I've just been, you know, trying to better myself. But, you know, it's always come a time and place where you have to better yourself and change it up. Like, some things ain't for everybody. Being rich might not have been for me. It might not have been in my car. But being happy and comfortable is definitely going to be that girl, okay? So I do want to go over to school for real estate. I do want to do that. And sometimes I feel like I'm procrastinating um, and hoping, yeah, that, that's not sometimes. But I know that of me because I do know that um, sometimes I do get a little frightened about shit. And I just like kind of like hold off. That's even with business ventures when I'm purchasing new inventory for my hair business. Because you know, I do make wigs, y'all. Okay, besides making jewelry, I do make wigs. But um, oh, I was using the Anastasia Glow Kit. This one, that glow. I was using that. And the color on the top I was using was called Sunburst. It's this light gold right here. Look, this palette is old. I'm telling y'all, I don't be needing no more makeup. But it doesn't be rambling on about, you know, finances and stuff like that. I just I just want to go to school and do something different with myself. And with that being said, there's nothing wrong with just, you know, leveling up and doing something totally different with your life that you will benefit from. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I might really like trying to do real estate. Who knows? Maybe I'm good at it. You never know. You know what I'm saying? If you call it a beauty influencer, you call that for something, right? I don't know. Guess I tried out. But yeah, so I'm going to spray this Sasha Fix It spray on my face, y'all. But yeah, when I get my website up and running, um, or my beats up and running, I hope you guys check them out. Remember, I did say that it was handmade, well thought out of designs. So yes, we're almost done with this entire look. Even though it wasn't a tutorial, I'm here to talk to you guys and talk y'all ear off. But I also want to tell you guys, thank you for just being there for me in life and, you know, holding me down and, you know, helping me out with certain situations because... You guys have made my 2022 year an amazing year and a blessing. And I'm very thankful for that. Like straight up, I'm so thankful. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, internet friends can be really good friends too. You know, you just gotta know a certain level, you know, that to hold with them. Other than that, you know, it's an amazing year. And my 2022 grew and I learned new things and I met people and I've learned new tactics and techniques. And I realized the person that I have become over the year is a very patient person. And I'm very happy with that. You know what I'm saying? Like certain people you got to let go in your life. Toxic negative energy is not something that I want to carry around with me. But there are people who love drama and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's who you are as a person. I can't change you. I can only accept you as you are and just be very level-headed with you and take you in small doses. Okay. Now they got also, She Glam got some lip gloss too. It comes in a three pack and it's called Glitch Out Lip Hacker Lip. Lip comes with three colors now. Girl, let me tell you something. Out of the three colors, there are only one that I would probably put on my lips. But I don't know about y'all, but I'm not into like this black, dark color lip gloss or this green shit either. Excuse my French. But um, yeah, girl, these colors are, <laughs> the green one is called Fail. The pink, oh wait, that's not them called. What, what are the names of these? Okay. I guess I got my glasses back on. I did not want to mess up my makeup with the glasses on my face, but. So this black one here. Now they do all have this, this little quotation mark, this little speech bubble right here that says the word fail. And um, that's not a lie. Because this color is definitely not a color that I would put on my lips. But like I said, I like free shit, but I should have said no to this. I really wasn't paying too close of attention. So this one is called Double Click. 
girl, I don't, I don't think I would want to. Mm. My lips are dry. I'm not sure if it's from the damn lip scrub, but I'm gonna put this on my lips actually, because, oh no. Gives me like a very slight peppermint minty smell. Slight, very slight, like you gotta, hard. So hard, you sucking your brains up more further. But um, this color is definitely giving me vampy black look. I guess it depends on the color of your lips for this particular one, but this is definitely a no for me. I would never. Maybe over a different color, may, maybe that might work because that's definitely what you probably have to do. But, you know, it's very thick and sticky. Let's try this pink one out real quick. Uh, this one is called Reboot. This might be the best one. You know what I always say, save the best for last, but we're just going to put this on in order. So this one is okay. You know, I love me a nice pink mauve like color lip gloss, lip stain. You know, that is me. Um, so this one is a, okay, so this one I like. This one I like. Now, I would definitely pair it with my favorite little lip tint that I always wear for every single video because that's me in a nutshell. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, and this last one here, well, it's the green and yellow. This is called Sprite. What is it called? Dot com. Okay. Dot com. giving me light gold glitter. Not bad because it almost looks clear. Okay, once you keep looking at it, it's like gonna mesmerize you into looking clear. So these two are actually, the last two are actually really like good ones. Um, the black one, that was a no for me, but as far as the consistency, it's not bad. I actually really do like this one a lot better than this one here. I'm not bashing them, but this one is a lot better color payoff than this one. Cause this gave me like that pink that, okay, I would have to use it with something. I wouldn't wear this by itself. I've got freaking baby white hairs on my lip. Um, fibers or whatever you want to call it. Now to wear for, I'm not sure how it's going to last to work out, but okay, decent. But the black, oh, that's a no for me. This black is definitely going to be in the trash. I don't want to keep stuff that I don't need, all right? And I don't use. That's just not something that I'm into. I have enough stuff in my house, like I said. I don't need anything extra. My personal opinion on the collection is this. And I, I like Shein for certain things, not for everything, girl. I'm not like one of their ride or dies, all right? As far as the collection, it's a no bueno for me. Um, out of everything, I just like that one lip gloss the most, which was this one. Everything else is a no for me. That eyeshadow palette was horrible, along with that blush. It's definitely horrible and chalky. And that lip scrub screams, okay, my lips are dry now. I really didn't do much. They still dry. Um, so yeah, I, but like, listen, I said, I like free shit and that's what it is. I just tell you guys, I hope you have like an amazing new year. You know what I'm saying? I don't really believe in new year's resolutions because you should do shit. Don't wait until the new year to do something that you should have been done did. Okay. It's always room for change. It's always room for making your life a much better one. At least that's what I think. You know, I have come to play. Like I, I try not to judge people and just, and not be the judge of people or judge them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Hey, we, I'm only human, so yeah, I'm going to talk about you. Yeah, I'm going to say something about you. But like I said, I'm not about to sit around and do this shit on a daily. I mean, we're all, we all are um, guilty of talking about people. Let's just be for real about that shit. Okay, I will talk about your funky ass. And if you ask me, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm talking about you. What? I mean, you might beat me up. You might not. I would hope it didn't even get to that. But, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing, nothing wrong with a little change in your life. But, um... You know, I hope you all have like a really good new year. You know what I'm saying? I hope you accomplish things that you have wanted to accomplish last year because sometimes we do procrastinate as human beings. But I also hope that you all just stay blessed, stay mindful, and try to just be positive. Don't let all the negative energy get to you. Like I might have been being like a little bit, you know, bitch, I was being honest with the, the makeup. I wasn't being negative. Shit, I'm being for real because what... I'm not about to sit up here and tell y'all that shit because I love it and y'all go waste your money. Like, not happening. I'm, I like that lip gloss. Look, gave me this like, mm, hello, girl. But you know what I'm saying? Like, look, these are sheen earrings. Hello. I, girl, listen, I do support and I do say things that I do need to be said. Girl, it is what it is. Okay? Let's have a really good new year. All right? I'm about to go get me something to eat before I do this wig video. And yeah, I'll see y'all on the other side of the computer screen in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Have a great, safe new year and stay blessed. Oh,